and the dragon stood before the woman who was about to give birth, so that when she bore the child, he might devour it. It's not exactly the most flattering portrait. There are other readings available, like Milton, for example. I admit I have a reputation, but can I have my say? You know, Mark Twain once told me that the hardest part about being a human is, is the not knowing. The not knowing if you belong, if you're correct, why you exist. It's no different for angels. Now, imagine you know the answers. You know that you belonged, why you exist, that you are right, for lack of a better word. I mean, you would never throw that away. I mean, that is contentment, surely. Now, that is heaven. I mean, it is beyond any kind of comprehension why anyone would throw that away. On that, we are agreed. Now, imagine that you were told that you belong. Just told. Already it feels wrong, doesn't it? I mean, why should you trust them? I mean, what do they know? Why can't you know? <laughs> That's what we had. We were just told. Suddenly it felt less like heaven and more like blind faith. Which I think people like you and I of a certain discerning character are always hesitant to trust. Because it's not based on fact or clear mutual understanding. It's very much based on the idea that one person has the knowledge, therefore the power. How do we know that the power isn't being abused? So I chose against blind faith. And I, I got cast down for it. You were blameless in your ways from the day that you were created. <laughs> Till unrighteousness found in you. I mean, I was perfect until I disagreed. History is written by the victors. Now, I lost. I, I don't deny that. Come on. Am I really that bad? <laughs>